Bacteria are all around us. They are in the environment. They are in our bodies. They are in the bodies of sick patients. And often an important question is, which bacteria are we considering at any given moment? Not only is this important in a clinical or an experimental sense, as students of microbiology are often tasked with identifying an unknown bacteria. To do that, uh, one often uses differential media. So you grow microbes in a medium where you will then be able to distinguish between different kinds depending on how they grow. Maybe they turn a color uh, because of what's in uh, the medium uh, based on the enzymes that they produce, for example. So uh, in the case of carbohydrate fermentation, some bacteria have the enzymes to metabolize, say, glucose or dextrose or sucrose. And when they break uh, these sugars down into pyruvate, some of them have the ability to then metabolize pyruvate into a gas. Because not all bacteria can metabolize a given sugar, which one could visualize if there's a pH indicator in the sugar solution, which will then uh, turn color, say yellow in this case, if the sugar is metabolized to make an acid, like pyruvic acid. And if there is an upside down small test tube, a durum tube inside the larger test tube, which can collect gas, one can then uh, take steps in identifying a bacteria uh, based on the results of different carbohydrate fermentation tests. For example, the red color of the solution indicate that this bacteria was unable to metabolize any of the carbohydrates, glucose, sucrose, or dextrose. This bacteria was able to metabolize all three of those sugars, and the acids produced as the sugars were broken down uh, turned the pH indicator yellow. This bacteria could not only metabolize all three of the sugars into pyruvic acid, it could then further metabolize pyruvic acid and produce a gas in the process, which collected in the upside down durum tube. Other bacteria may be able to metabolize some of the sugars, but not others. And so if you were trying to uh, distinguish between different types of bacteria, you could consider the results of these carbohydrate fermentation tests to help you distinguish between them. 